I'm a, I'm a movie buff, and, and because I think it's, real, it's very, very difficult to make a theater piece work on the screen, it's always there for a challenge, and you know, anything that's difficult uh, attracts me. And uh, so uh, that, to me, was the fun of seeing if we could make it work on the screen. It's a, it's a lovely cast, and uh, we, we were very lucky, I think, with the casting to get the right people for the right roles. And they're, and they're all good, so what more can you want? I think recording sessions, for me anyway, are really tedious stuff. And um, to keep them alive all for a whole day and you know, in a closed room and, and the cast is, is tense because they know it's now or never, you know, and this is, this is gonna be a permanent recording. So it's, it's not generally, at least, you know I, only know, I only know show recordings. I don't know, you know, recordings of pop where they have months to do it in many sessions. A show or a movie, it's done in one session, essentially. And that means, you know, in a nine hour span or a 10 hour span, um, so for me, the, the major thing is that the cast have a good time because if they have a good time doing it, then that, that exuberance will, will translate onto, onto the CD. So, and I think everybody did have a good time. One of the, one of the things that's nice is uh, if, if, if you're a singer and you've been rehearsing with a piano all the time, this is certainly true in shows, but it's also true in movies, and there you are now with a 30, or with a, well, in, in the movie, I guess it's a 40-piece band, I don't know. Uh, you know, and, and particularly when the orchestrations are by Jonathan Tunick, it's, uh, who, you know, uh, has such flavorsome orchestrations and lushness, that's, that's an up, that's a real lift for, for a singer. And so um, that's, that's the good part of a recording session. Rob's terrific. Rob, Rob has, a, has a theater background, which is very important, I think. And he's a choreographer, which is also important. Although there's not, a, not any dancing per se in the, in the movie, there's a great deal of staging of the numbers. And that's something Rob is, is an expert at and imaginative about. And um, so it, it, it is nice for this kind of musical to have a director who knows how to stage numbers. The songs in, uh, in Into the Woods are, so are often songs that stop the action, in which, you know, Cinderella stops and talks about her experience, or Little Red stops and talks about her experience. So those are numbers that have to be staged as numbers because they're not parts of scenes. They're part of the context and part of the plotting, so to speak, and part of the ambience and the texture and all that sort of stuff. But they are, they, but they are numbers. So somebody like Rob is a rarity in, uh, because somebody who can do that and, and direct movies and really knows about directing movies as movies, that's unusual. So that's, you know, Rob is, uh, you know, is one of the very few directors who could do this well. It's very important and very, and much harder than it sounds to figure out what a show is about even after you've written it. Uh, and uh, because you don't want it to be a polemic and just say, this is a show about war, and that's, that's no way to write a show. You write a story and see where it goes. And for me, um, um, it was about community responsibility. Uh, in the first part, everybody acts for themselves and it brings down disasters. And in the second part, they have to work together as a community to correct their error. Uh, 